Let me ask you a question. When people hear your name, what comes to mind? What's a, f a word they would use to describe you when they hear your name? For instance, if someone said the name Jade, people might be thinking, he's tall, <laughs> he's big. Uh, loud might be a word that you would use to describe me or passionate. I don't know, have you ever thought about that? When you think that someone says your name, or they hear your name in passing, what do they think about? Hopefully, they have good thoughts. Now, let me say a name. You tell me what comes to mind. Abraham. Have you got it? What word? If you're like me, or you've read the Bible at all, probably faith. Maybe the word righteousness. Abraham, the name Abraham, is synonymous with faith. We know that at every point, he displayed faith. Now, God used Abraham's name, though, to teach you and I. In fact, when God called Abraham in Genesis 12, he told him, I'm going to make you a nation. I'm going to bless you. I'm going to make your name great. And the reason why is after. He says that you will be a blessing. In other words, God made Abraham's name great so that he would bless other people through that name. In other words, when you read the story of Abraham, it is a blessing to your life to know what faith can do. This month of April, we're starting a new series called Epic, and that is where God uses your name to write his story. God used Abraham's name to write his story of what it meant to fulfill his promises. He takes Abraham's, a, a, a man without a child, a man with, without a future, and he turns him into a nation. And through Abraham's name, you and I understand that God fulfills his promises. You and I understand that God can do anything. You and I understand that God can make everything from nothing. What is God working through your name? And are you allowing him to do it? Are you allowing God to use your name to write his story? What do people think about when they hear your name? And here's something cool. When people first heard the word Abraham, they, his name at first was Abram, they didn't think a father of many nations. They didn't think a man of faith. But as he lived that out, now we do. And that didn't start until he was 75 years old. In other words, he lived his life without making that name for himself of faith, without being writing God's story with his name. So that means no matter what age you are, God can use you and God can use your story to write his. I hope you have a great day. We'll hope to see you this Sunday and we'll talk about it more.